Welcome to Starbase Pink. This is your daily space and SpaceX news. Let's start the updates with another Falcon 9 launch, this time from Space Launch Complex 40, carrying another batch of 22 version 2 mini Starlink satellites. This is liftoff. And liftoff of Starlink. Go Falcon, go Starlink. Main engine cutoff and stage separation and second stage engine ignition. We have Falcon 9's first stage landing on short file of Gravitas drone ship for the 8th time. It was the 15th launch and landing for booster 1062. Nice view of Falcon Heavy at 39A, watching Falcon 9 lift off from Space Launch Complex 40. And last night Falcon Heavy launched carrying Jupiter 3 EcoStar 24 geostationary communications satellite built by Maxar. This is liftoff. We have side booster separation, booster 1074 separated from second stage and second stage engine ignition and we have fairing separation. Falcon Heavy side boosters landing on landing zone 1 and landing zone 2 for the third time. Both boosters 1064 and 1065 used three times as side boosters for Falcon Heavy missions and the same boosters will be used again as the side boosters for two Falcon Heavy launches before the end of the year if everything went according to the plan. And we have payload deployment. And the confirmation from Maxar that the satellite is performing as expected after launch, deployed its solar arrays and receiving and sending signals. This picture captured during the initial activation of the new Starship flame deflector and yesterday we saw the first full pressure test of the flame deflector. Let's hear the sound. There is no other space company working with this fast pace. SpaceX team making great progress. Here you can see the design of flame deflector matches the outer ring of 20 raptors. Those are directed up and the middle not the same. Guys, I'm not an engineer, but from what I'm seeing here, I think the weakest point is in the middle. So we have the three middle raptors against this point here. Of this one we survive and this flame deflector design will be a big success. So they used it for other parts. So we can see Starship launching frequently with no other delay. But the first real test of this system with Booster 9 static fire test and for sure we will see more than one static fire test for Booster 9. They will go easy for the first time. And I can wait. Elon reacts, he said, new water dilute system to protect against the immense heat and force of Starship launch. And he shared another angle of the full pressure test of the flame deflector. Muller reacts, he said, satisfying, nice work by the team at SpaceX. And Hans Konigsmann reacts too, he said, this could work. That's it for now, this is the end of this episode, see you tomorrow.